everyone. Today we want to answer the key questions. What is edge computing? Where is the edge? And go through a worked example to illustrate this. If we look at a representation of the physical infrastructure, we can track the possible locations where compute can be distributed. Edge compute is a physical compute infrastructure that is positioned on the spectrum between the device on the left-hand side and the hyperscale cloud on the far right-hand side, supporting various applications. Edge computing brings processing capabilities closer to the end user, device, or source of data, which eliminates the journey to the cloud data center and thus reduces latency. For telcos, edge computing is likely to span from their core network to the customer premises. Telco edge compute consists of multi-access edge computing, compute based on the edge of the network suitable for use cases like autonomous vehicles, and on-premise edge computing, where computing resources or customer premises are managed by a network operator. On-premise edge computing retains sensitive data on site while still taking advantage of the elasticity offered by the edge cloud. With each of these, telcos may decide to use the public network or provide a private network for a specific set of users. We have seen interest in this from particular industries in particular markets, such as manufacturing in Germany. As we have said, compute can be distributed from the cloud all the way through to the end device. While there are many use cases for edge computing, both enterprise and consumer, to illustrate how moving compute to the edge can improve application performance, we'll focus on the example of augmented reality for industry. In this specific example, software is being used for 3D visualization of a CAD model. This has use cases in architecture, engineering, and construction verticals. First of all, the today case. In today's world, there are two imperfect choices. Either tether the VR headset to a computer that provides the compute power needed to render the 3D CAD model, which restricts the user's mobility and cannot support multi-user collaboration, or host the compute in the centralized cloud, which causes latency that can make the wearer of the device feel queasy. With edge computing, very limited compute will, will happen on device. This means AR headsets can become more lightweight, making them comfortable to wear for longer periods of time and also cheaper. Instead, data on the orientation and location of the user is streamed to either the network or on-prem edge where rendering of the model occurs. By using edge compute, new features of the application become possible. For example, Edge can enable real-time collaboration, where two teams in different locations can visualize the same 3D model of a building plan and discuss changes that need to happen. Or alternatively, it could be used in a sales scenario to walk a client through how an end product will look. Each party requires connectivity to their own local Edge node where rendering of the model occurs. Orientation information is sent via the cloud to ensure both edge locations are synced and the users can accurately see where the other party is while retaining their own unique perspective. For more information on STL Partners Edge Compute Practice or to access additional resources, please visit the website on the screen.